City Builder Games, you know them, you love them, and that's why you've come back to the channel yet again. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to Port Rail 4. We're going to take a look at this game here today that's in closed beta. This is a very exciting game because it really reminds me of the early colonial days in Tropico, except this game fully takes place during those times of uh, colonialism and piracy and uh, plunder and booty and all that good stuff. So if you want to see more, make sure you go ahead and click tap blow up and destroy that like button and let me know you'd like to see more City Builder games on the channel. Welcome to all those new subs and thanks to the people who are supporting the channel the most by becoming members and clicking and tap that big blue join button and getting access to all sorts of behind the scenes features and more. Well, there's more to do in this game than ever before, according to what I read briefly. I've never played a Port Royal game before, but the most important thing in this game is creating rum and trading it internationally, and to create kind of like a uh, an island where we're a governor, and to have all sorts of different exports. There's a free build mode, a campaign, and a tutorial. It's probably going to ask us to do the tutorial, but I would assume that uh, really the first few missions are not going to be so bad. So there's going to be a cutscene, and then we'll get right into it. Again, thanks guys for your support, and enjoy Port Royal 4. Here we go. Alright, looks like we have a campaign map here that takes place with England, France, the Netherlands, and Viceroy. Looks like we can command and take uh, control of multiple different campaigns here. Uh, England taking control of areas... Well, actually, it's our hometown, interestingly enough. Looks like that's uh, indicated with the, any sort of buildings in white. Uh, yellow is the Netherlands, blue is France, and then anything in red is Spain. So they're controlling all the areas around the uh, Caribbean. Crib, cribbin? The cri cur 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 the cur Caribbean. The Caribbean. Carib okay, let's get started with the Spanish campaign. That seems to be the only one <laughs> the only one available first. Looks like we need to complete it before we go on to the other one. So let's go to Spain and see what they have to offer. Ah, look at this. We get different perks for our character. So we can be a merchant, buccaneer, piratess, or adventurer. Yeah, adventurer seems fine to me. Uh, I guess we'll stay with this name here. Looks like we get different types of uh, bonuses, such as receive two captains in the beginning and is able to rebuild vessels which have de uh, been defeated in battle. Uh, and also we can change our flag color. That's kind of cool. Let's just go with the generic uh, Spanish flag. That's fine with me. And let's continue. All right, here we go. Oh, that's beautiful. It really makes me uh, feel like I'm playing a uh, Tropico and Anno game at the same time already. Oh, there's a little intro video. By the end of the 16th century, the empire of the Spanish crown was so large that the sun never set on it. From all over the world, riches flowed into the motherland, especially to Madrid, the place of the royal court, the mecca of flatterers, schemers, and officials. Anyone blessed with title or wealth found a safe and comfortable life here. For those who were not blessed with this, there is above all a way out. The Spanish Caribbean colonies, 
from which the wealth of South and Central America is shipped across the Atlantic. The poor people were allowed to leave willingly because life was hard and labor was scarce in the colonies. The settlers are driven by the hope for a better life without poverty, but in freedom and perhaps even prosperity. But even the great rulers of Europe look eager to the Spanish colonies. Their fabulous riches promise something no monarch can resist. Power. So it is only a matter of time before Spain's supremacy is openly challenged. Hmm, impending storms very, very, oh! Very symbolic. Greetings in the name of God and as representative of the Holy Crown of Spain. Heaven sends you, for the area to be colonized is vast, and the development is a true test of our humility and devotion before God. And our intelligence, of course. Due to the large expansion of our colony, the supply situation is not equally good everywhere. Some towns find it difficult to secure their demand because of the distances to production sites, but also because of the lack of necessary production, labor, and building materials. Your first task will be to ensure the supply of basic commodities for daily needs in your home region. Details can be found on your task list. May the blessing of God rest upon you. All right, very cool. Well, before we get started with that, let's take a look around the map. Ah, okay, we see, uh, basically, oh wow, Central America, bits of Mexico, I believe they, we see uh, Panama down here, yep, and the uh, northern sections of, wow, okay, wow, this is actually quite immense, I'm surprised, the uh, northern sections of South America, and then of course the islands leading all the way up to uh, Cuba, which, contrary to popular belief, is not a cube, interesting. Florida here, Florida Keys there, and uh, a lot of the southern United States. Uh, Virgin Territory is relatively untouched. It's 1570, wow, even earlier than I thought. I thought this would take place in like uh, the early 1700s, but no. This is still around the time of battling for supremacy. All right, well, Spain certainly controls a lot of territory down here. So uh, let's get started then. So we have a task list. Let's take a look here. We have construction menu, trade routes. Uh, convoys and then number of free convoys one. I wonder if we can take a look there. Oh, it looks like we have them sailing back and forth from Seville here. And it looks like we can actually take command of this city. Oh, look at this. We can actually manage the town and do production through here. Very nice. Uh, colony of Spain. I wonder what these other markers mean. Perhaps previous owners or something before they battled over them. Lots of good information here. All right, Seville. We can see how large the city is. Trade license and such. We can command. And do all that. Oh, we can actually highlight the towns, too, their needs. So we can see who produces what and um, what they might need. So things like luxury items, furnitures, pastry, clothing, coffee. Ah, this is very, very much like Anno 1800. Once you get to the point of trading with the New World, uh, you can definitely start doing trading here. That's neat. Those with warehouses and shipyards, too. Very cool. I wonder if we can build a naval fleet. We'll have to see how that all plays out. We have uh, the Viceroy to answer to as well. So this must be our... Uh, Let's see our... Oh, pirates and things to watch out for. Nations. So we see the uh, current uh, viceroy of different types of uh, cities and uh, regions, I guess. Very cool. Uh, no pirates at the moment. No known pirates in our waters at the moment. Uh, impending that they'll come soon. Concessions, audience. I wonder if we can get some uh, milk duds or something here. I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Commodities, vessels, and route. And no captain on board of our main ships. Cool. All right. I think we've got a good hang of, of the map so far. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the journal and the... Con oh, actually, this might be what we need to do here. Uh, let's see. You have one trading license with... Uh, have a trading license with five towns. One of five. Uh, sell 500 commodities to a town in the nation of Spain. Uh, satisfaction currently at 89.5 out of 90. So it looks like we need to increase that with Seville over here. I'm going to call it Seville. I might be pronouncing it wrong, but it doesn't matter. You know what I mean. Let's go ahead and try to get some other trade licenses open. Uh, do you want a trade license? Well, we may as well trade with our closest uh, cities here. See if we can trade some stuff nearby. See if we can get some quick trade open up. All right, there we go. So we have two. Uh, I think we have three trade licenses now. Uh, let's go ahead and open up trade with the uh, Nuvo Filipina. And also, uh, 
Havana too. I'd like to do that, open up with them. It is the express wish of the Holy Crown to improve life in the towns of your region. Only then will we gradually devote ourselves to other problems until a uniform quality of life and growth is achieved in large parts. Hmm. Okay, very good. Okay, job one done. Now we need to sell 500 commodities to towns in the nation of Spain and then complete that. Oh, treasure maps, what? Castaways, flotsam, special people, and other objects on the uh, nautical chart can give you parts of a treasure map which will lead you to a hidden place of valuable statue. Ooh, that's cool. Statues found. Ah, so they might give different bonuses. Find all the statues uh, to gain additional fame. Okay, so that's definitely an advantage over our enemies. And then different types of tactics that we can employ. So we can tell our uh, vessels to uh, employ being aggressive or try to use smoke, that type of thing. Very cool. Uh, let's see here. Captains, we have one at the moment. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm from the beautiful city of Belize. Uh, oh, that disappeared for a second. Okay. These are all Spanish uh, captains, I think. Okay. Oh, we can actually hire these people. I see. These are options for us to hire as a captain. Good navigator. A uh, good scarer of pirates and a good gunner. Mm, well, I guess uh, she's our highest level. Pirates or guns in general? I think guns in general would just be good. Guns are good overall. So, you're hired, madam. Welcome aboard. Captain's license missing. All right, we'll have to get one of those then. She's definitely going to be somebody that we want to hire. Let's go back to our... Oh, wait. Count convoy list. Oh, we do actually have a convoy now uh, for Seville. And we can actually uh, set this up too. Here all your vessels are shown. Tours, towns, and advisors. Cool. I think we can set up trade routes this way. There was an option for that. So let's create a new route for our ship then. Uh, convoys on this route. Edit route, rename route. Let's go ahead and edit that. So let's go ahead and gather stuff. Oh, you can actually see the trade winds. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> well, that is amazing. So you can set up your uh, trade to actually follow the winds. Okay. Let's see. You know, I, one thing I don't know... Or what I've never known or what's never been explained to me and I've never really researched. Something unknown to me is how ships are able to navigate against the winds. So if you know exactly how ships can go against the, the wind, let me know down below in the comment section. Actually, it's the internet. So if you want to get a right answer, all you have to do is uh, say this. Ah, uh, yes. Ships of 1517 were uh, 1570 were powered by s steam. So uh, they just use a corkscrew and they probably cavitate, probably use submersion and uh, pr proceed towards their target by uh, just moving against the wind. There we go. All right, perfect. Let's go ahead and target where we want to go now. Now, how do we do this here? Uh, number of towns, one length. Oh, it actually gives you a full length of it. And then you can tell them what to do at each town. Very nice. So let's add a town with uh, left click. So we're going to... Uh, oh, we got that one on there twice. Let's go ahead and reduce that. So we can go uh, south. Well, let's just go in any order and see exactly how they manage. We'll add this town, Sazel. Then we'll add Nuva Filipina and Havana. Hopefully they're able to sail to all of those. And that gives us... Uh, oh, and then they come back to... Did they come back here at the end? Oh, yes. There we go. Perfect. So now they can all trade. Okay, that seems to be active. Uh, 23,000, I think that's nautical miles, I believe? Duration, depending on draft, 9.4 to 23 days. Wow, all dependent on the wind. That's crazy. Now let's go ahead and, uh, let's see, can we name the route? Let's go ahead and name this the perfect route with no flaws whatsoever. Oh, perfect. All right, we'll go ahead and call that one the perfect route. Good. All right, so we only have one ship so far. Do we have, oh, we have no crewmen. So we'll have to hire some people for that. No capacity at the moment, or nothing filled in the capacity. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can hire a, a scurvy crew. A yar, I think that's how it all goes. Okay, let's see. Uh, convoys and towns, cargo space, ascending vessels, onto towns, and advisors. Okay, we've been through that before. So let's see if we can hire some people now. Construction menu. Ah, we're able to build stuff inside these towns. Oh, there we go. Now we can start building some cities. So kind of similar to how it is... In games like Civilization VI or uh, Old World or whatnot, we can actually build towns this way by giving them things like hospitals, taverns. What does the tavern do? Residential area uh, hosts up to 140 instead of 80 citizens. Oh, wow. So that gives us a population boost because people will want to move there. Wow, that's cool. We can actually really zoom in on these towns. And they are farming, and they are logging, and they're doing all sorts of things. Actually, I'm really curious to see this. Let's take a look around the map a little bit more. These are apparently pits that go to the bottom of the world. Wow, those are crazy lakes. Beautiful. Beautiful water here. 
And more logging going on over here, too. Looks like they're actually mining. Uh, they're getting metal. That looks like gold. Sugar, wood, tobacco all being grown and shipped here. Very nice. Very, very nice. I think uh, our game speed is on slow. Oh, here comes a ship now. Merchant from Sazal. Now, is that an allied ship? or That's uh, another ship there. Oh, a military vessel also here. Oh, this is going to be amazing to see naval battles. I'm sure they covered some of that in the tutorial, but what I, what I like using tutorials for is I like to go into the base game and just get my hands dirty and kind of play around with it. It's kind of like when you give a baby a, a cupcake for its birthday and it just mashes it in its face. Then eventually it grows up and learns how to become a master chef. We all have to start somewhere. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at company. This is one thing I haven't looked at yet. So this is details on our character and his bonuses. Nice. Overview of current wealth and other statistics and buildings. Balance of our uh, current working year. We've been opening up a lot of trade licenses, so that's only going to get worse until we actually start more trading. And statistics for all sorts of different materials and stuff in the game, like uh, metalware or corn, hemp, ropes, etc., etc. That's really cool. We can make a lot of stuff for naval vessels. That'll give us a ton, ton of money. All right, let's go back to trade routes then. I want to see if I could actually get a... Uh, let's edit a route. Oh, no, no, I don't want to edit a route, but I would like to look at our current ship. So let's see here. Convoy and town list. Seville 1. Uh, no commodities loaded in order to trade open the town dialogue. All right, how do we do that? Uh, this must be the town dialogue here. And this must be... Ah, convoy. Okay, so here's where we can probably do some trading here. Yep, convoy there. So things that we're trading with the convoy, for example. Ah, I see. So that's where we can buy things and also adjust production. So we have bananas, we have rum, pastries, and clothing being made. Oh, that looks so delicious. Oh my god. That looks awesome. Let's do some town upgrades, actually. We should be trading, but I actually kind of want to make this into a city builder a little bit more. I'm surprised. Uh, what I had seen, I thought looked more like Tropico and such, but I guess I was mistaken. Is that graves around? Look at all the graves around the church. Somebody, like, just kind of threw those all together. They're pointing all sorts of different directions. My goodness. All right, crazy. Uh, let's see here. So I want to add some stuff to the town. So let's go to the construction menu. Let's get started with some stuff. Let's build ourselves a... Well, let's start with a tavern if we don't already have one. And if we do have one, let's build another one. Because we're going to need it. Let's uh, build over here somewhere. Maybe next to the church, right? No, let's build it over there. There we go. Oh, I think we already had a tavern. Good, we need another one. Just because. Let's build more residential areas. Uh, looks like we can't. Maybe a lack of uh, materials. We have a chapel, so we've already got that. We can build a park if we want to. Seems like we may already have one of those. May oh, this is a marketplace here. Oh, actually, that might be the park. No, that's the marketplace there. A double marketplace. Cool. I want to go look at the other towns. I'm kind of more interested to see how the towns are all laid out. Oh, yeah, that looks nice, too. Let's go see Havana. Nice. Farming going on, mining. I wonder if there's any sort of fortresses or anything in the game. A cool lighthouse actually burning uh, logs and stuff up at top. That's neat. Lighthouse enables transfer of vessels between convoys in harbors. Oh, that's cool. So that way they can switch to other convoys. That's cool. So if you want to transfer them between, that's really cool. Oh, wow, and a day-night cycle in the game. That's neat. I'm really amazed with all this stuff. Okay, this is our first convoy, so send convoy or set waypoints. Well, that was already set automatically, and it looks like this one is already trading. No captain on board. To hire a captain, open the captain's dialogue. All right, let's go ahead and open that up. Now, we needed to buy a tra- Oh, she, that other lady disappeared, it seemed. Oh, actually, she's already- Oh, we already own her. Oh, assign. I see. We can assign her to this ship here. Okay, so now she's a part of this vessel. So now that's all up and running. So, zero out of 40. Now, how do we get a crew? Patrol or pirate mode? Oh. Cost, cannons, draft, of course, of course. And then food that is already loaded with commodities. It should set sail, I'm assuming, after loaded, but we need a crew, too. No automatic trade route assigned. To trade a, assign a trade route, open the trade route dialog. Okay. So, let's go ahead and assign a route to this ship. And boom. Looks like we have a trade route now. The perfect route, in fact. Excellent. And route active. Route enabled. There we go. Oh, there we go. Not too bad. Although I'm surprised that she's doing this all on her own. Zero out of 40 people on that ship, and she is just doing it all herself. It's kind of how you do it in modern days, by the way. You, you hire one person to do 70 people's job, or in this case, 40, and you hire her the wage of one in order to maximize profit. Excellent. Soon. Soon. Well, it looks like we've only got $11,000, so we better get pumping away on that cash. But this is kind of just more of a first look 
get things out of the way and make mistakes and learn from them kind of thing. I know some millennials will be like, ah, that's not, that's not. but that's how things go, kids. Trial and error. When there's problems, they actually require solutions. Not everything's just perfect all the time. It's not like San Francisco from Star Trek, you know, where they come down and every building's just this white arched structure made out of like 3D printed plastic. No. Problems require solutions. All right, let's see what other cities have here. Uh, so this city over here is... Uh, oh, you can actually do it at a glance. We have cotton here, what looks to be fruits, and maybe textiles as well. And then this city here had what looks to be maybe charcoal, meats, a, a beer or ale of some sort, and then also um, looked to be grain. This is awesome. Look at all the territories we can draw. All these cities made all the way down to uh, Portobello. Oh, man. Wait, Gibraltar? What the... Uh-oh. This I think this is in the wrong spot. Actually, Raptor, it was historically correct. That yeah, I'm just making a joke. It's a joke on the Rock of Gibraltar. Okay. Well, this looks really cool. I do like this. I want more city building, but I do like the whole trade thing. This is more like economic simulator, where you're also building cities. So rather than just building an empire, you're building a small piece of an empire. I do like this and find this to be quite interesting. What's our other goals now? So now we've already sold 20 out of 500 commodity. So if I can get some more ships, this is going to just take a little while. But our um, our happiness should go up. Oh, actually, we're supposed to do these goals by certain dates, too. So by October 1570, which we're already in April, we're supposed to sell 500 commodities. Maybe we'll make it. Maybe we won't. I don't know. Uh, the smaller the town is, the more important our basic commodities like grain and wood. They're the top of the trade list. Oh, so if we trade with small towns with grain and wood... We make a ton of money, so it's probably a good idea to find smaller towns. So I'm assuming this little square indicates the size of the town, maybe? Or our relationship with them, maybe? I'm not sure. But these are all Spanish towns. I wonder if we could trade with English towns. Trinidad, for example, looks to be a uh, British settlement. Uh, I don't see any others, though. So they must not be here just because... Not that they don't exist, but just because they're not actually... Uh, in the map for trading purposes at the start. Look at how beautiful the waters are. Oh, that's really gorgeous. A lot of good details here. A lot of things that people will underestimate. Florida Keys already going. Nice there. Ooh, look at all the French styled structures. Oh, there's differences in the buildings as well. Very interesting. So French buildings look a lot different than Spanish structures. Very cool. And British structures. Yeah, look a lot different as well. A lot, of, a lot of them made out of wood, it seems. And the Spanish structures, I didn't really even take a close look. Yeah, a lot of them made out of, like, clay. Very nice. Oh, they look very nice. Yeah, very, very nice. Wow. Uh, Nuva Filipina is really beautiful. It's a really big town. All right, how are we doing on our trade? So this job is supposed to be slow at the start, I think. Where's our ship at? Can we find that? Trade routes. Uh... Actually, wait, can I look at... Where is this ship? It went down here first. So maybe it's over here at... Well, I don't know where it went. Did she run off with my ship? Let's go see. Well, let's see. Edit route, rename, duplicate, delete, create new route. I wonder if I can find where our ships are. Our current ships. Here's a current captain. She's currently assigned. Well, at least she'll scare pirates if they come around. That's good. Number of free convoys. Ah, so that's what that number means. So we have zero free convoys because we have no extra ships. It looks like military ships are here protecting all of the ports. There's our ship now. The Seville 1. And there we are. Can we rename this? Ah, yes. We'll name this one the Raptoria. Glory to Raptoria! And let me know, by the way, down below in the comment section if you've subscribed already. And welcome to all you new members. You can test and see if you're a member by saying test down below in the comments section as well. If you see a little eyeball next to your name, you'll know you're a member then. And that's our symbol for all of our lovely members. So thanks again for your support. Looks like they just traded and they've purchased, uh, let's see what they've got for commodities. Another 20 grain. So it looks like they're doing a good job of selling grain back and forth uh, to cities. Some of them might not buy them. I don't know exactly how to set it up that way. So we'll have to go into a little bit more detail in editing the route. And uh, probably, yep, there we go. Uh, active goods for this town. Everything's off. So I guess we'll have to turn it all on. Oh, we can tell it to buy or sell. Very nice. So all all off or standard. What's standard set to? Oh, it looks like it's not automatic like in filter. 
So we'll have to set it to do it automatically. Oh, this is the... Ah, oh, there it is. So it'll auto-set. There we go. So let's go ahead and just click Standard. Perfect. Ah, there we go. So now we'll be able to buy and sell more goods. We might be late on our objective. Uh, Calypso games are kind of like this. If you've played games like uh, Railway Empire and such before, you have to complete certain jobs by certain dates. But uh, not, a, not a bad problem. I guess instead of going with the Spanish flag, too, it's a good idea to go with a variant of a different flag so you can kind of monitor stuff. But we have plenty of stuff here. I wonder if we can buy a new ship at any point. Let's see. Production. I wonder if we can order a ship if there's a shipyard. We probably can, but this is, again, an early day one map. All right, let's see here. So 20 out of 500, a lot of stuff to buy and sell. Our capacity is only 20 anyway, so it's not like we're going to be selling a lot of stuff. I think it's only 20. Oh, it's 200. My mistake. Never mind. I missed an extra O. All right, let's speed up time and see if we can complete this goal. Let's watch how everything goes. So our trade convoy comes in. It's set to standard trade, so it'll trade the and buy and sell the best stuff for us. Set to 20 out of 200. Looks like these guys are producing grain, so they might not buy that grain. But they might sell us some other stuff. I wish the port, this ship would actually go into the port, though. It would be nice if it parked right here. Maybe we're waiting? No, it looks like they all just kind of park around the lighthouse. And things are automatically loaded and unloaded. But I like that. I do like how we can m manage these other cities, though. I don't know if I can manage these cities. Ah, yes, I have no control over Havana. So right now, just my main city that I've been made governor of. But we might be able to be made governor of several cities. I'm not exactly sure how it worked. But we might be able, there might be reasons where we can manage more than one city. It seems more fun that way. Uh, what's going on over here? Uh, there's a red symbol. Uh, the tavern establishes... Oh, I see. They're missing materials for the construction. So that also requires tools. So we could acquire that during our building process and such. Uh, or a trading process. Very nice. Ah, we have 28 materials on board. So we'll be selling that soon. Very good. Ah, we've completed 160 out of 500. Excellent. And then we'll increase the satisfaction of the people by bringing more materials to what they want. Things that they don't have. So they're producing fruits, rum, clothing, and pastries, as we saw. So if we get something like wheat, we might be able to make bread. If we get um, uh, salsa, we might be able to make tortilla chips to break into smaller tortilla chips. That kind of thing. And right, we're out of money. Not a raptor game without bankruptcy. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, bankruptcy. That's right. That's not that bad. This is really my fashion of a tutorial. But I would like to do more tutorials and get better at this game to see really what the meat and the potatoes are all about. I really like this one for sure. Oh, we made a little bit of money. Briefly out of bankruptcy. Thank you. All right, let's see here. Uh, journal says we've sold 322 out of 500. Now I just want to see us hit that 90% goal. I think it'll just have... Oh, wait, whoa, we just made a ton of cash. Oh, and there it went again. All right, brief, brief profits. All right, cool. Uh, Small towns are less protected than large ones. Oh, the envy of European rivals, may perdition strike them, does not allow us to neglect the development of towns. They must mm. grow and become strong in order to survive sea blockades. Okay. So we'll have to basically rely on the military then. Alright. I wonder if we can make our own military to break through enemy blockades. The British then might be able to blockade some of our towns and take them over. Like, for example, troops from Trinidad might be able to come over here or uh, invade the Florida Keys. Unfortunately, the French only have one town for us to trade with, but there's plenty of towns up here like Galveston and uh, Corpus Christi, all the way down to Port Isabel and La Pesca. Very nice. Very, very nice. Veracruz and uh, Villa Hermosa, very nice. I like looking at all these little cities on the on the uh, coast. Very cool. Let's see. I think in two or three years the Panama Canal will be built, so our ships will be able to get to the other side. That is a joke. That is a joke. We all know it was made in 1991. On your work 91. rests the blessing of the Lord. Hey, we did you it. You should now start the production of basic commodities to ensure the supply in your region. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. All things done. All right, let's slow down time now. All right. You own four businesses for the production of wood. You currently own zero. Business uh, production of grain, zero. Beer, zero. Take one... Is that 1,000 job seekers from other towns? Ah, oh, okay. And there's good tips here for us, too. All right, so we need to do this by the next year. So luckily, we got a little bit of time. So we'll need to own businesses for the production of wood. So does that mean I can go to other cities and, like, 
become a private owner of it. Let's actually... Oh, new captain available. Oh, wow. That's actually a real-life photo. She's pretty. Dolores Nunez. Uh, okay. All these people look... Wait a minute. She looks like a Pirate of the Caribbean character. This guy looks like he's drawn art. And this looks like a high D... Like, HD photo. What the hell? Can I be in this game, please? Uh, p Pirate Dino? Dino Pirate? I don't know. Okay. Let's go back to our city. I want to check out... Where were we? Over here? Uh, we're up here. All the way up here. There we go. All right. Wood businesses. Let's see. How do we do that? Production. So can I make a new business? Let's see. I guess the only thing I can think of right now is to actually build one. Uh, doesn't even look like we could build one if we had the materials. Ooh, we can build a ship right, though. wonder what happens if the ship is wrong, though. Uh-oh. Oh, we can also demolish things. Very nice. Okay. Well, let's see what it says under tips. I didn't quite read that yet. Uh, let's see. You can produce wood in Cizal. Get a construction permit there. Oh, okay. So that's right next door. Let's get a building permission permit for 25000 Wow. That's more than I spent on my St. Laurent jacket. Yes. Be careful where you're dumping yo ashes. All right. Now we can construct. So let's see if we can get a building permit to build a logging camp. Ah, there it is. And I need to own four, was it? Oh, boy. One, uh, two, three, and, uh-oh, three, uh-oh. Oh, they're not happy about it being built nearby, I would imagine. Well, we, we built three, or two, rather. We need to build more. So I'm assuming it's more materials. What, what exactly? Oh, it's money. We're out of money. Okay, very cool. Well, this is uh, quite an interesting game. I do like this. If you're more into the trade routes, like an Anno 1800 training between the old world and the new world, this is going to be the game for you. I do like how you can build cities. It seems a little more in-depth building cities than in, like, Civilization VI. That just gave you kind of like a, you know, Civ series is more of a bonus to the whole nation, as where this is just kind of like a bonus to the city and local trade partners. And that is really cool. I like seeing little ships come by. I like how we're kind of like uh, trading with other cities and trying to keep things civil and try to also be competitive with our own nation while the government is also clashing with the French, the English, and the uh, Dutch, although the Dutch uh, seem to be way off in the distance. So that's pretty cool. I like this. I really, really like this, and I want to play it more. And if you want to see more too, go ahead and let me know. Click or tap that like button. That's my time for today, ladies and gentlemen. So I'll see you all next time for more Port Royale 4. I can see why a lot of people like this game, and I see a lot of excitement for a new one. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much for clicking and tapping that like button on the way out. Welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope to see you all soon. Goodbye. Take care. Have a great day. I had a lot of fun, and I'll see you. Bye.